we did we did receive uh, three pages uh, of comments from this young man. Uh, his family sent it out, and here is part of what. There's a lot more to them. There's always a story that goes along with them that happened before and after something like this happens. And we have viewed video uh, that gives a bitter, better, bigger picture of what happened leading up to uh, that face-off between the student uh, and the Native American elder. Here's what was one of part of the statement from the student who was standing there face to face. He said, because we were being loudly attacked and taunted in public, a student in our group asked one of our teacher chaperones for permission to begin our school spirit chants to counter the hateful things that were being shouted at our group. Our chaperone gave us permission to use our school chants. Now, he is referring to the nasty things they were hearing, not from the Native American group, but from a group of black men who call themselves the Hebrew Israelites. And we are now going to show you some video of exactly some of the things that they were saying to the students and others. New video emerges in a story that has gone viral between Catholic school students and a Native American elder named Nathaniel Phillips. Phillips found himself surrounded by students, one staring him down, the others chanting around him. As Phillips says, he was trying to create calm between two groups at odds. I, I realized I had put myself in a really dangerous situation. You know, there's like, here's a group of people who were angry at somebody else, and I put myself in front of that, and all of a sudden, I'm the one who all that anger and all that wanting to have the freedom to just rip me apart. This video shows what happened long before Phillips shows up. You can see a group of about five black men who identify as Hebrew Israelites preaching. They start taunting people of all colors, other black visitors, natives, and a Catholic priest. That makes America great again. A bunch of child molesting this is the moment that group becomes aware of the students, some wearing Make America Great Again hats. You got these pompous bastards come down here in, in the middle of a, a native rally with their dirty ass hat on. At first, the Catholic school students are there in small numbers, but more and more students begin to gather, watching, with few weighing in. A small group of men continues taunting them. A bunch of in incest babies. Right, pop babies. This is what America makes, make America great looks like. The students begin to react, but do not approach the men. The black Israelites continue to condemn the kids. You worship blasphemy. We got angels that are black for us. Then, one of the students takes off his shirt, and the group begins chanting. Two minutes later, you hear a drumbeat. That is Phyllis and another Native American drummer. He says it was an attempt to thwart potential violence. The kids dance to it, and some begin chanting along with the native song. But for those who think they were enjoying each other's company, Philip says that is not at all how it felt, especially because of the students standing before him. Fear, not for myself, but fear for the next generation, fear where this country's going, fear for those youths. Fear for their future, fear for their souls, their spirit, their, their what they're going to do to this country. Now, in the student statement, he says that he is now facing fear, that he is receiving death threats, as is his family. And he talks a little bit more about what happened during that interaction, saying that he never interacted with the protester, that he did not speak to him. He says, I did not make any hand gestures or other aggressive moves. To be honest, I was startled and confused as to why he had approached me. I believe that remaining motionless and calm, I was helping to defuse the situation. And he goes on to say, I harbor no ill will for this person. I respect this person's right to protest and engage in free speech activities. And I support his chanting on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial any day of the week. I believe, though, he should rethink his tactics of invading the personal space of others. But that is his choice to make. So you are now hearing the other side of this story. You're hearing from the student who has been at the center of all this, saying that from his perspective, he was the one being calm, and he was the one that was getting the aggressive threats. Uh, of course, you also heard from the Native American elder who says he was actually trying to calm the situation down, too. 
The people who seem to have started all of this are the ones making all those racist threats uh, and screaming at these kids, and those were the Hebrew Israelites.